Hey guys, it is me, Kirby100, and today we are reviewing Funkin' Traumatize Halloween Demo. Now, this would have been a live reaction thing like most of my other videos are, however, the footage for this, like specifically the visuals of the footage, got corrupted. So unfortunately, we will not be able to do that, and instead I'm going to have to suffice for just a, like, review. So, let's start off with Spread. I really like the visuals of the song. And I really like the idea of Boyfriend not being dead yet in the song. Like, because in T- this is based on TMK, obviously. I like how this is before. It reminds me of the original cutscene from Funkin' Traumatized, where, um, I'm trying to focus on this and, pl and play the game at the same time. My apologies, because I'm doing this at the same time. But... I like how it's based on the FT, like, intro, where, you know, Wolverine sees TMK, TMK, like, I don't know, stuff happens, he dies, and then he gets in the game. And, like, we'll get to Purpose later, but Purpose takes place, like, immediately after that. I like the vibe the song is going for. I have heard a snippet of the song before, meaning, like, I think the only song I haven't heard anything from before this demo came out is, like... I think just purpose, and that was it. Because I've heard a little bit of spread, I've heard a little bit of marks and bad ending. I've heard, um, I heard a little bit of failure. I have not heard anything from purpose before playing it my in the original version of the recording before I uh, lost the footage of it. Like the visuals of it specifically got corrupted. But enough about that, because that's not important. I really do like. The sp I like the idea and the sprite. The sprites look really cool. I like... I'm sorry, like, I don't really know what else to say. I just... I like where the song is going. You know? I like the idea of the song. The vibe of the song is really good. And... I remember I saw the sprites since a long time ago in, like, an old teaser. They still look really cool. Oh yeah, also, this mod has pause screen art, and it looks really cool. And I just noticed it even has, like, custom logos for each song. I actually like that. That's cool. Overall, I do really like Spread, and overall, I think it is way better than the original version of Spread. Like, I think it's the only song... Here's Marx's art, by the way, which is very reminiscent to the original, like, 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 free play Marx art. Um, this song I used to not like that much. I like this song a lot more now because of how it was remixed. It changed a lot of stuff I did not like about the original. Like, it main, main, the main thing I didn't like about the original Marx is that it did not have enough energy, it felt like. Um... But now I actually feel like it has that energy, mainly because of the drums, personally. Um, another thing I really love about this song, specifically, is the Mark Sprite. It looks so, so, so good. I- I was told by Slima, the guy who made the sprite for Marks, he drew this in Ibis, which I don't know how that is possible. <laughs> How do you make art this good with a phone, with your finger? How do you do that? I'm like, how do you do that? You know what I mean? It's like... Anyway, I'm going on and on and on. The background of this also looks really pretty. Another thing I like about the song is that... I like how it has like an extra part at the end that changes the pitch of the song. I really love how accurate the boy like, the boyfriend sprites like they look like Kirby versions of the boyfriend sprites. They like they look really cool. I, I I don't know what else to say. I just more or less this is like a gameplay video. I don't have that much commentary. I I do apologize. Like in the original version of this recording, it's just the Kirby fan and me gushing about everything. I mean, I'm still- i still probably going to do that anyway. Yeah, this part, this is the pitch change I was talking about. 
I think it sounds really, really nice. I like it definitely fits the the like the the vibe that Marx as a character has. Like the song does a good job at like, you know, feeling like a song that Marx would be a part of. In my personal opinion. All right, bad ending. This is the other one. This is one the third one that got a remaster. I really like how much more energetic the song feels now. And also the slide notes, like most of the time, the slide notes help make this like feel more impactful. I don't feel like anybody that doesn't make music knows what I'm talking about. Like most normal people do not know what I'm talking about. Also, this guy has, um, he does have a, uh, also bad ending, like, I mean, I guess it technically has a custom logo. I like this, um, art for him. It looks really cool on the, the pause screen. Oh yeah, he even has a V-Pose. Boyfriend has a V-Pose, which I think is pretty cool. I got like teased- again, like I said before, I did get teased, so I do recognize certain parts of these songs from the teasers. I like the icons too. I don't think the Dark Matter one changed. Like yeah, like this part specifically, I really like how frantic this sounds, you know? I don't fully know if this fits like Dark Matter, but I still like, like it. Oh, this part's cool. I still really like Dark Matter's chromatic. It's like one of my favorite croms in this mod. If it weren't for the TMK crom, like the new one that's in both purpose and spread, then this would probably be the best crom in the mod in my opinion. Also, another well, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. One thing I did not expect from this song is to have like a slow bit at the end. I really like, you know. I like like, it feels like the audio. Like, the, I like the, like, the pauses in the song. They sound, they, like, they fit really well. Like, it feels like, like, this ending part feels really impactful, and I like that. Like, overall, like, I, I'm just gonna keep saying over and over again that I like this stuff in this mod, because the freaking Kirby brain rot in me is telling me, but, like, it's, like, genuinely, like, cool as well. Let me look at the replay. I, what I really like about this song is I, I like how like in style failure is. I know like, it feels like a, a weird, weird transition from bad ending to failure when it comes to me reviewing this stuff, but like we're talking about failure now. I really like, you know, the, the two Kirby's in this song give me the energy of me when I'm making music at midnight versus me when I'm making music in the morning. Like, it literally, like, these two guys literally give me that vibe. I know the whole point is it's vibe check Kirby. But when I'm looking at both of these Kirby's, it's like, that's just, that's just, that meme just pops in my head. But, um, yeah. I say this, like, five times already. I really like the sprites in this one. This one in particular, I just like how in style they are. Also, I think this song's been remade, like, two or three times. And I think this is 100% the best the song has sounded. Like, 100%, this is the best th that Failure has sounded. So, good job. Good job, composers. You did a really, really good job on the mod. I really like... What I like about this part of the song, I like the, like, the texture, it feels like. Because it, fe it feels like Failure Kirby... It feels like... He, or it feels like Vibe Check Kirby has a texture. Like... If, it seems like he's a real... It looks like he's, like a, like, a real thing. Which is like similar to the similar to the animation where he looks like you know, quote unquote realistic. Here this guy looks realistic but in F and F form, which I think is very epic and cool. I'm pretty sure I know I've already told the person that made the sprites 
the failure sprites they were really good but they really are like cool and they and they look accurate to the style too like now as to the song like going more into the song he um whoever i don't remember if it was redolent or danjin but one of them remixed the uh what's it called <laughs> you know the the siren head uh, siren which i think is pretty cool Like, sorry I don't have, like, too much to say. I mean, I wish I had, like, a more genuine reaction, but I kind of lost the footage. I kind of... I kind of lost all the visuals, and only the audio of that survived. I like this part. This feels like the... Uh, in, like, people would make, like, oh, in this FNF song, this part ascends, but, like, I actually do feel like that. And the part with this, I don't know if these are called 808s or not, or, like, these, like, this instrument in the background that actually sounds cool oh yeah these sprites look awesome i i love how the hand is drawn here also i didn't say this in the original recording the bro looks freaking evil back there in like his up pose i think bro is actually evil he's planning something bro is actually planning something this song is way better than in the original i love the the siren head uh noise that got like changed for this that sounds like different and not as repetitive also the pitch change is still pretty cool i think this was always in failure but it's still nice to have it oh yeah also the filter looks pretty cool good use of the filter i didn't even notice this game or this modded a custom arrow skin that's pretty cool yeah bro is evil like bro is planning something in that pose we got only one more song to check out, which, if I'm gonna be honest, in the original, like I guess predicting, not in the original, what am I talking about? I think in the original, I didn't even say it in the original. I predicted, I predicted that this would be redreamed instead for being the extra song, but, you know, it does kind of make more sense for it to be purpose. I do like the vibe this song is going for, and I like the glitchy VHS filter. I don't even look at TMK's icons, they actually look really cool. I dig the icons for this song. I like this- I like the pose where I- I don't remember which one it is. Like the one where he's looking at the camera, I think that looks cool. I think it's his left one, I think. I like the vibe of this song. It's catchy. I like the hi-hat, that's a nice little thing where it goes t -t 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 -t. I like that. Nice. I know I'm a big like music guy, but I really, I really gotta talk about the art too. I like the- it feels like it's like- it feels- it gives me like a 3D feel to it, you know? It feels like you're in a liminal space, it almost feels like- I know this is based on the Green Greens TMK thing. But I like- the TMK Green Greens testing level, but like it like it feels like a liminal space with like how the shading is and it looks like really cool. Like I can't stop gushing about these boyfriend sprites, they look so cool. Like, overall, like, the song is pretty catchy overall. And I'm really, really excited to, uh... I'm really excited to, you know... To, for, like, the full mod to come out and whatnot. Because, like, you know, big Kirby fan here. Gonna gawk at every single thing in the mod. Oh, I like that. That was- I didn't even notice that in the original. That's a like good use of the game over. I like that. That's actually, like, cool. That sounded cool. Uh, let me go through the credits here. Let's, like, go through these real quickly. Whoa. Anyway, 
that's pretty much it. Like, overall, I was really, really happy with this demo, and I cannot wait for the full game. Be sure to download the mod and link in the description, and subscribe to the Funk and Traumatized YouTube channel for any updates and teasers and whatnot. I've been Kirby100. I should be doing my job for this. I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care, y'all.